Hello, my name is Steve Jackson. I'm the manager of the Edenton National Fish Hatchery in North Carolina and I work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Today is a very historic day. The uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has reintroduced lake sturgeon into North Carolina for the first time since 1946. The species was extirpated in the rivers of North Carolina back around that time due to a combination of overfishing, habitat loss, and loss of spawning habitat. These fish were spawned at the Warm Springs National Fish Hatchery in Georgia back in April, and they grew there for a few weeks. At the age of about 30 days, the Edenton National Fish Hatchery came and picked them up, brought them to our facility for grow out, and for the five months since then, they've been intensively cared for in raceways at the Edenton Hatchery until they reached this size, which is about eight inches in length. And we brought them to the river, the French Broad River in North Carolina. Today we put out 3,860 fish, and next Monday we'll be putting out another 3,400. This is all part of the Lake Sturgeon restoration for the Tennessee and Cumberland River systems, which has been going on for about 15 plus years. Multiple fish hatcheries, federal and state, in the area have been raising lake sturgeon and reintroducing them to the waters. And we're very proud that we were able to extend the effort in North Carolina this year. My name is David Stagliano. I'm with the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. And I'm the aquatic diversity biologist of the Western Region. It's great for North Carolina to get species back and haven't been there. So this, this reintroduction process is, is getting the full complement of native species back to the systems. And that's, that's one of our goals.